Hi there, I'm Amy Griffiths and I'm one of the journalists in Manx Radio's newsroom. And granting a variation to Kroger's licence to drill for oil in Manx waters would go against the will of Timwald, according to the Isle of Man Green Party. Kroger's asked to begin drilling before completing a 3D seismic survey. The Department of Infrastructure says it's continuing to consider the company's request and will issue a response to the political party's latest letter in due course. But Secretary Andrew Langan-Newton has told Manx Radio that changes to the licence are so significantly different that it can't be considered a mere variation. Just as a, a brief background, uh, Minister Crookall, Minister for the Department of Infrastructure, he uh, announced to Tim Wald, uh, sorry, the House of Keys, I think it was in early November, he said there was a, a request from Kroger, this company who's got their exploration licence to explore hydrocarbons, they had asked to change their licence so that they didn't need to do a 3D seismic survey, an environmental pre- uh, protection, which is a standard part of the UK government exploration licences and and industry best practice. So Kroger was saying, we don't want to do that. We want to go straight to drilling. The Green Party wrote to the minister straight after that announcement saying, we didn't think this was the right idea because of it being industry best practice and it was going to be changing from that. And also um, all the regulation and policy that's went into, we should be investing in renewable energies and not investing in fossil fuels the reverse we should be stopping fossil fuels and we should be putting all our money into renewables so that's the background the minister's written back to us saying he disagrees and actually doesn't think the climate change policy stops the the hydrocarbon extraction um or the change in variation of the license. We've written back to him now this week, and you can find a copy of the letter at greenparty.im saying, hold on, we think this change, contrary to industry best practice, is so significant a variation to the license that it's actually rescinding the original license and issuing a new license to Kroger, which would allow them to proceed straight to drilling which we think is absolutely unacceptable. Now, um, what, why we say the minister and his department, Department of Infrastructure, can't do that is because in 2022, July 2022, um, the Timwald um, agreed that there would be no new um, hydrocarbon licenses issued for expir- exploration in the Isle of Man. Um, that was actually a, a motion brought by Joni uh, Farragher, MHK, um, and um, she said she didn't want any licenses licenses and the current license revoked. But actually, um, the chief minister, um, Mr. Cannon, MHK, stepped in and said, OK, we won't do that. But we but we will agree that there'll be no new licenses. Now, we say this change is so significant. It can only be a new license. It's not a minor variation to the old license. And therefore, the minister can't do what they're considering to do and we're making sure we're telling them now uh, as before they've made that decision which will be a terrible decision especially after coming out of the hottest year on record in 2023 that um, we know for certain science says for certain that this is as a result of the increased um, carbon dioxide emitted into the world over the last 100 years 150 years and especially in the last 30 years um, and so just to be clear we're asking the minister to say no uh, we won't vary the license we won't amend the license to allow Kroger to uh, go straight to drilling um, uh, and, and that's what we're saying the minister is bound to do. I suppose the argument that's often put out there is that of course waves are being made to try and get to a reliance more on renewable energy and of course that is the target but there has to be a transition period and presumably would it not be better to be and in some ways greener to be using gas that has drilled locally rather than bringing it in from you know the Middle East from Russia wherever it's coming from I mean do you hear some of the points within that argument? Well I guess there's two key points there it's like what does the science say and uh, Jean-Jacques Rousseau writing centuries ago said nature never deceives us it's we who deceive ourselves we should be making our decisions about the science and the science is so clear and we've known that since before Rio in, in 1992 or the early 90s and now we've got the Paris Agreement and that statement that the Alemán um, government has signed up to about not 
not exceeding 1.5 degrees of warming. And and the IPCC have now saying, amongst other bodies like the International Energy Agency, saying as part of that to achieve the goal of the Paris Agreement, if we're realistic, if we're serious about achieving that goal of not exceeding 1.5 degrees of warming after um, pre-industrial levels, um, then there can be no new fossil fuel exploration infrastructure. So actually the decision to proceed with new fossil fuel infrastructure in the Isle of Man is contrary to what the IPCC, the IEA, the UN are saying, and it's contrary therefore to the Paris Agreement. That's point one to one, decision making around, sci uh, around science. Um, um, point number two is uh, about, well, Kroger, a private company, they take gas out of the ground who do they sell it to there's no guarantee that they'll sell it to the max utilities to burn in Paul Rose and generate electricity in the Isle of Man now the UK government had to come out about three or four weeks ago so, uh, on the basis of a I, I think it was a freedom of information request and had to admit now that the new licenses in the North Sea for exploration of oil and gas wouldn't guarantee uh, energy sustainability in the UK um, because they could, those companies who got the licenses, who got the oil, got the gas, could just sell it on the global marketplace, sell it to the highest bidder. No guarantee it's going to give energy sustainability to the Isle of Man. However, wind, wind, for, wind turbines in the Isle of Man, solar panels in the Isle of Man, hydro schemes like we've got already, uh, and wave technology are, are also they are going to guarantee energy sustainability in the Isle of Man and energy independence. And that's what we should be investing in. So what exactly are you calling on the Department of Infrastructure and the wider government to do now? So at this point in time, we've written to the Minister for the Department of Infrastructure yesterday, uh, the 6th of February, with a letter that can be found on greenparty.im. It's just a two-page letter. And at the end of that, we asked the Minister to confirm that in view of the points we're putting forward, which is that Timwald resolved in 2022 not to... Um, allow any more new licenses. The fact that this is clearly can only be described as a new license, given that it's significant change to the current license, um, that the minister confirms to the Green Party that there won't be a variation to the current license. Thank you for making it to the end of the Little Manx Radio newscast. You are obviously someone with exquisite taste. May I politely suggest you might want to subscribe to this and a wide range of Manx Radio podcasts at your favourite podcast provider so our best bits will magically appear on your smartphone. Thank you. Thank you.